All right, hey guys, it's Pluto. There's been a lot of uh, dis discourse around IBs and IBFDs recently. I'm just kind of here to just talk about IBs, IBFDs, and then give you some techniques. So uh, for starters, I want to make sure everybody knows what an IB is used for. IBs are used for either getting huge punishes um, or making the opponent leave gaps in their strings because they're scared of the IB punish, right? So like say like Geo like wants a doggy kick uh, or like does close slash 2S 5H doggy kick. Um, you can just IB that doggy kick and like get like a throw punish maybe, like a dash throw or like a 5P if you have a 4 frame. Like, and that's going to scare them from doing that because most, uh, most punishes will probably give you good reward. Now, once you start doing that, they have to leave bigger gaps in their uh, pressure or they can leave smaller gaps to, as like frame traps, right? Uh, but you've, that IBs, those IBs that you were doing has successfully now opened up gaps in their pressure for you to interact with when one way or another. That's the point of IBs. You're trying to either get huge punishes or make the opponent scared to give yourself more opportunities to interact. Uh, interaction is key. If you can't interact with your opponent, you can't win, right? So from there, you have uh, three ways of IBing, or I guess it's two ways and then how to IBFD correctly. So we have the IB, the 131 IB, we have the dash block OS, uh, or dash block IB OS, I should say, and then just how to IBFD correctly. So we'll start with how to IBFD correctly. A lot of people hit FD and one at the same time. This is an issue because what you can do sometimes, you can hit IB and then FD if they're not on the same frame, and it'll look like you IBFD, but you'll really get uh, just an IB. Let's see if I can just get this really quick. Yeah, so see how like I just did an IBFD, or it looked like an IBFD, However, uh, she didn't get pushed back at all, right? It's because there it was just an IB with an FD at the end. Now, if I do it like this, oops, see how much farther she went away? Okay, so that, that, that's why you hold your buttons and just IB. You can hold, and keep in mind, you can also dash while holding buttons. As long as you're returning to neutral, this does not affect anything. Just when you're IBing, IBFDing, hold the FD buttons, then tap down back. Next thing we'll go into is how to 131. 131 one is holding down back. It's just number tap notation for holding down back, then going down forward. So right now I've got the Geo to close slash 2S, right? So if I do, um, like a f if I hold back, I'm even though I'm in block stun, I will get hit because it's a low. So it's now say I'm trying to IB the 2S, I miss and I get hit. Um, to circumvent this, you can hold two uh, or three. Two does not clear the F, uh, the IB buffer, so you can't actually do two one as an IB. You have to go to three. So, as you see there, I do three one and I get the IB, um, no issue. And like, see, I can just mash this all day. I'm not getting hit by a low anytime. Okay, that's your one three one. Then the last thing is the dash block IBOS. So. Uh, this implements oops, this implements the very basic uh, thing we talked about at the beginning of I B them I B their strings to give yourself gaps right so I've got this geo close slash two s five h dog kick all one string very easy very predictable I can just sit there and say I want to I B that doggy kick uh, I might be able to get it there yeah, there you go you can just I B it. And I can get my throw punish uh, if you do dash throw. Now, so now I've got the Geo scared. That's a throw. That's that's serious, right? Uh, so from there, what she's going to start doing is she's going to leave a gap. Oops. She's going to leave a gap. So I'm going to take my hand off the stick and see I get hit by the doggy kick. It's about a two, three frame gap right there. So this is when you start implementing the dash block OS. Basically what it is, is you IB the hit that you're, IB the first move, like as if it was a true string. And then you hit dash block or dash and then block again, right? So it's I IB dash down back. And what this does is it just automatically puts an IB in your dash. So if they try to do like a frame trap to catch a button because uh, they think you're going to mash after their move um, because you've enforced the IB and you've given yourself openings, what you can do now, look at that. Uh, I didn't have the thing to show it, but like see how I I beat the doggy kick I just I just did that I I beat the earliest timing I didn't I beat because there was no doggy kick my dash comes out and I I beat the frame trap uh, and then I still get my huge punish right that is how to dash block IBOS um, with that being said those are like 
the three big things. Um, so just to recap, we'll start with I being with FD. Make sure you hold the FD button and you tap down back to IB or you uh, do 131 while holding the FD. Same thing, you can you can do this whole OS while, um, while FDing, right? Uh, because when you're holding two buttons and you're not holding down back, you can dash. Uh, the next thing is the 131, which is just so you can't get hit by lows. So she just does 2S, I can't get hit, I'm mashing, it doesn't matter. But this is how you safely go for IBs against lows. There's no reason not to do a 131. You should always be IBing with 131. Uh, and then the final thing is that dash block OS, which is just your IBing. So like, I guess it would be you do your 131 at the earliest timing to IB. If there's no frame trap, you, then you dash an IB and then you'll uh, basically IB whatever frame trap they have. If you are not getting that IB after your dash, this also tells you that their gaps are probably three to four frames minimum, uh, probably closer to five, which gives you more opportunities to like jump out, mash, interact with their pressure, which is the main goal. Remember, I being is there to give yourself big punishes, to scare them from doing those things, to give yourself more opportunities to interact in the future. Uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, go hit the lab and uh, practice this. All right, see you.